workout and we're going to take you through eight different exercises which we'll do for 30 seconds of work and then you'll have 15 seconds rest before you move on. So our first thing is you'll need a ball, um, a bib, t-shirt, water bottle, something tied up or something that you can hold or you can even do it without any equipment if you don't have anything at all and you need some space. So our first one is going to be a ball catch and a full body extension. So we're going to throw the ball up in the air and as we do that we're going to extend our body out and back in. As we throw the ball in the air, we're going to touch our hands to the floor quickly to catch the ball again. So it should hopefully look like this. Okay, so our next exercise, we're going to be leaning back in a V-sit, holding our feet up in the air. And as we do that, we're going to hold this position and bring the ball around our knees, keeping our back nice and straight and making sure we're not curved in and we're not overextending. The next exercise, we're going to do Russian twist. Now you are going to touch the ball on either side of your body, twisting with your shoulders in each direction. You can choose to keep your feet on the floor, but if that's too easy and you want more of a challenge, you can lift your feet off the floor and continue to do the exact same thing. Going back to having our feet raised off the floor, our feet are gonna be cycling like so, and as we do that, we're gonna move the ball in <laughs> between our legs as we go. The next exercise, we're going to be moving the ball from between our hands to between our knees. We're going to be laying on our back and we're going to do a full extension with the ball between our knees and then another full extension after we swap with our hands and continually do that. You can tap your heels down or you can extend your legs all the way straight, keeping your back pressed into the floor. Our next one, we're going to be in a reclined position, so leaning back again. And like before, we're going to have our legs cycling, but this time we're going to hold the ball out on one arm and cycle through, and then halfway through the timer you can switch hands, making sure we're nice and balanced. Moving on, we are going to be again leaning back, making sure we're in a nice strong position, and we're going to be moving the ball from hand to hand across our body. Again, making sure we're nice and controlled, we're not hunching over and we're not too far reclined. Okay, and our final exercise for this core and ball handling skills, we're going to be holding the ball straight above our shoulders and we're going to have our feet straight above us. We're going to reach the ball up to try and tap our toes, keeping our lower back pressing and lifting our shoulders as we reach the 